We see two friends sitting in a restaurant at the start of the film, talking about significant subjects and they have a fast bond. Here we learn about one of their names, Dumbledore, who was a decent man. Grindelwald was the second one, and he wasn't quite as good as the first. He wasn't very good because he went in evil ways. And Dumbledore was trying to persuade him that whatever you're doing isn't fine. You still have time to get out of this. Grindelwald says, tell me what I'm doing, after hearing this. Whatever I'm doing, you're well aware of it. He claims I'm doing it for what we once dreamed about. I wish to create a world free of muggles. He then leaves after having this remark. The question is, who are these muggles? Actually, the magical world is a hidden place from view of the everyday world. Whoever lives in this world and is unaware of magic, and he's clueless when it comes to magic. Muggle is the name given to a typical human. Later on, we see Dumbledore after some time has passed. He's holding a locket in his hand, but it's not just any locket. It was a unique locket created by Dumbledore and Grindelwald before some time. Their blood is preserved in this locket from when they were young. They swore an oath with their blood, their promise was that they would always remain attached with each other, and would never go against it. This vow has a rule, if they break the commitment ahead of time, this locket will work against them and cause them to die. Dumbledore, on the other hand, does not want this to happen. He doesn't want Grindelwald to do anything bad, Newt, a bold young man, appears in the next scene. He was in a jungle at the moment, looking for a creature. This wasn't just any creature, it was a magical one. The magical creature possesses a special ability. If this creature's blood can be imbued with human blood, it is possible to see the future of the person whose blood is being attached. Either good or bad will occur with him ahead. Finally, Newt encounters a creature queen, who also has a baby. In the meantime, another boy, a hunter, arrives. He travels to the forest with his companions in search of prey. He later reveals that he works with Grindelwald. This hunter has arrived to slay this creature, and he does so. In addition, he wants to take his child with him. Newt, on the other hand, gave it his all to save the infant from the hunter. Newt kidnaps the infant and flees the forest, but the hunter and his men pursue him and eventually apprehend him. They capture Newt and injure him before taking the newborn creature. Newt goes straight to the queen thing when he wakes up. And what Newt sees amazes him, the queen has given birth to another child. That signifies the creature has given birth to two babies instead of one. Newt takes the baby creature and stuffs it into his suitcase. There were a lot of other species in that suitcase, and they didn't all come from the same world but from different. There was a dragon among the creatures. That wasn't a small dragon, but a massive dragon that flies newts. On the other hand, we see the hunter who takes the baby and gives it to Grindelwald. As I already stated, Grindelwald is not a good man but a ruthless man. He slashes the infant creature's neck in order to mix his blood with it. As a result, he can see into the future. And he performs the same thing, and he sees his future. On the other hand, we see Newt, who has come to meet Dumbledore with his brother. He shows him a locket and tells him it's not a regular locket. But we've made it, and it's clear that this is in our blood. And even if we wanted to, I wouldn't be able to break it. Newt and his brother don't trust him because of his words. That is how a locket can be so strong that it is unbreakable. Later, Dumbledore shows how to break the locket. He breaks the oath and the locket turns against them. And, begins to murder them. So he turns to two brothers for assistance, knowing that I won't be able to stop Grindelwald on my own. I need help. After hearing him out, both brothers agree to assist him. After a while, we see the hunter, who appears to be pretty concerned. He has, in fact, repented for everything he has done. For this, he has kidnapped the baby creature. Please forgive me when he sees the mirror on which it was written. Later, we meet a baker who manages a bakery. Here we know that he has a best friend who works for Grindelwald, and she's been with him she does not meet this baker, and a professor visits the baker later. She first converses with him before teleporting him. She transports him from one location to another. This was a train, and both Newt and his brother were already on board. 
Other persons who were genuinely Newt's companions were also present. Dumbledore had sent one of them, a female, and the other, a boy. Actually, Dumbledore has sent them to fight against Grindelwald. When everyone has gathered, Newt states what is going to happen in the future, has already been seen by Grindelwald, and that we don't need to plan anything now in order to battle him, and then he hands all of the presents that Dumbledore has given to him to give them. The baker discovered a magical stick, although he was a muggle. He has no knowledge of magic, but Dumbledore has given him this gift. Newt's brother is given a miraculous tie, while his friend is given a piece of paper. This paper burns when Newt's partner reads it. This means it wasn't just any paper, it was a magical one. And the professor receives a book. Newt's friend replies, I got what I wanted, later, the train arrives at a station, where Newt's companion, he does not go with others, instead, he travels alone. He's been tasked with keeping a watch on Grindelwald. After taking the suitcase, Newt's companion separates. The suitcase contains the queen creature's baby. The other people appear in the magical minister's office. Because this is a magical office Newt meets a man who is exceedingly wealthy. He is the leader of this magical world. He gives Newt the message from Dumbledore that he has received. To do what is right and not listen to what others say. This man is with Grindelwald, according to a secret and he gives him a favor. He cleared Grindelwald of all the charges that had been placed against him. He was charged with everything since he hates muffles. And he doesn't think good about them, the rich man selects the magical names, for the forthcoming elections. During this time, Newt's brother notices a girl. And the girl was also working for Grindelwald, that is why he was pursuing her but police arrived in the meantime. And the police apprehend him, and Newt and his friends are powerless to save him, even if they want to. Dumbledore returns the next day and informs Newt and his colleagues, that he knows where Newt's brother is kept, and Dumbledore asks the baker and professor to go inside the office. Newt's friend, who was carrying the suitcase, is shown. She approaches a worker and asks that six new suitcases be made as Newt's suitcase. So that no one knows which suitcase is the real one, the real suitcase can be hidden. Newt's male friend, on the other hand, goes to Grindelwald. He was given the task of keeping an eye on Grindelwald. He walks up to him and informs him that Dumbledore has sent him to keep an eye on him. Grindelwald can't believe what he's hearing, so he asks for confirmation. He begins to read his mind and knows that anything he says is true. That he was dispatched by Dumbledore to keep an eye on me. Along with this, he discovers that Newt's companion, he hasn't forgotten his late sister, who died as a result of Grindelwald's actions. Grindelwald wisely erases all of his sister's memories. As a result, he has no recollection of his late sister. And he can possibly hate Grindelwald, we see Dumbledore, and Grindelwald dispatches a man to kill him. And the man was the hunter who killed Creature and has since repented. And because Dumbledore was so intelligent, he already knew about the scheme. That's why they situate the hunter in another location. Nobody was there, which is why they have such an argument with each other. Because Dumbledore was a powerful man the hunter was easily defeated. He tells the hunter what a fool you are after defeating him. You're with the wrong person, and he's using you for his own ends. And you know you're among us we don't know anything about this. Dumbledore returns him to his real world after saying this. Newt, on the other hand, goes to the place where Dumbledore has asked him to go. That was a jail, but before he arrived, the jailer displayed some cleverness. He takes all of Newt's magical gifts that Dumbledore has given him. His brother was where he was, so he went to him and opened his ropes. He lets him go, but after a while, a slew of other creatures appear. And the creatures attack them, but Newt, who knows a lot about them, tricks them with his thoughts and flees. A massive creature appears in front of them as they walk. However, Newt and his brother are able to escape here as well. Newt later appears to have taken all of the magical gifts. They teleport to a new planet when they touch the tie. Later, the scene moves to the minister's magical office, where a party is taking place and the baker and professor have arrived. Grindelwald also shows there, accompanied by the baker's companion. She was Grindelwald's companion. She doesn't look at the baker after arriving there. 
When he sees this, he becomes unhappy and depressed. Candidates who must run in elections have also arrived at this party. The most senior of them was a girl, and Grindelwald sent a waitress to kill her, by giving a drink that has poison in the drink. This professor throws it away with her magic before she can drink it. To show that he's done everything, the baker points his magical stick at Grindelwald. To tell that he's done this, Baker is blamed by everyone for maybe killing Grindelwald. The professor, on the other hand, teleports the baker to another location. She arrives at a place where Dumbledore, Newt, and his brother are already present. The professor gives them a newspaper which tells that the baker is not innocent. However, he is a killer who attempted to kill Grindelwald today. Dumbledore later reveals that Grindelwald has indeed become a candidate. He'll take part in elections that will take place in the magical world. He then shows them a kingdom after saying this. The place where the elections will be held in the next scene, they all arrive to meet the brother of Dumbledore. He tells him something that he doesn't know that the hunter is your son. Before today we don't know about this. He gets astonished after hearing this because he has no idea about this. Newt notices something written in the mirror afterward. In which it is written, I wish to return home. Newt get perplexed, so he goes to tell Dumbledore. This message has been given to us, according to Dumbledore. I recognize the sender of this message. This is a message from the hunter. There is also some bad news, which is that the hunter is about to die. Because he is surrounded by a unique bird. And the bird only hangs out with those who are about to die. During the chat, Dumbledore mentions his sister. That I once had an argument with my brother, and, it becomes so fierce that it transforms into a fight and we were about to attack each other with our magical sticks. It wasn't an ordinary but a magical stick, but unfortunately, our sister was passing through when it struck her, and she died instantly. We haven't forgotten about her death, and we are saddened by it. As a result, we hadn't spoken to each other. Later, Grindelwald brings the queen child back to life and beheads her. Grindelwald also learns that the queen monster had given birth to two babies, that day, it means the queen has another baby as well. Newt's youngster, who has taken that with him, during the fight, the hunter was unaware that the creature had another child. That Newt has taken with him, and Grindelwald becomes ragged after hearing this. After attacking him, he says, how can you do this? You've made a mistake. That you are unaware that the creature has another child, which Newt has adopted. And if you want to live, you only have one opportunity. And if you don't succeed in killing Dumbledore, I'll murder you. Newt's friend brings five more suitcases. She'd made from the worker that was the same as Newt's suitcase. The people there have no idea which one is the real suitcase. That has the monster queen's baby. Dumbledore, warns that the baby creature should reach the polling station securely. Because this is a species capable of detecting the soul's presence, who is a nice person and who is a bad person. And if he bends in front of anyone, he'll become the magical world's leader. Grindelwald has a baby creature, as we all know. He'll control the baby with his magic. As a result, he will misuse the child and rise to the position of leader. That's why Dumbledore wants this baby creature to reach the election spot. Because this monster can distinguish between good and bad people. And who will deserve the post of a leader. On the other hand, they teleport to the election place by taking their suitcases. During this time, Grindelwald's men see Professor Grindelwald and Newt's brother. They start chasing him down and fighting. The people of Grindelwald were heavier on them since they were more numerous and they capture him and during this all they open the suitcase in which many magical balls emerge and begin to erupt the Grindelwald people on the other side, the baker's suitcase opens but it was empty on the other side, the baker's friend comes back to him who joined Grindelwald and he asks him to forgive me since I've left you to join Grindelwald while their conversation, the people of Grindelwald arrive and capture them on the other hand Few people are on the lookout for Newt's brother and professor. Later, Newt's buddy arrives, having told Grindelwald everything. He attacks everyone and saves them. Because he's still with Dumbledore. He merely played a drama to help Grindelwald that day. 
Newt intended to carry his suitcase to the election spot but in the meanwhile, a Grindelwald's friend comes, he attacks and knocks him out. She grabs his luggage, and we see in the next scene when Newt wakes up. This lady returns his suitcase to him. The fact that Newt's suitcase burns when he touches it. Grindelwald shows a trick he's been won in the election by the creature baby. It indicates that he has risen to the top of the magical world. Everyone must now obey him since he is the leader. First of all, he warns everyone not to leave this baker because he has tried to kill him. In addition, he uses his magic to attack him. Meanwhile, a witch appears and saves him from the effects of magic. When the hunter arrives, he adds, I've got something important to say to you. Grindelwald is a cheat, and the newborn creature he has is not real. Newt's friend arrives with her real suitcase in the meantime, in which the baby thing was, and then, somewhat unexpectedly, the baby creature bends in front of Dumbledore. This means he's a good person and he is deserving of the position. After seeing this, Dumbledore says you have chosen me to be the next leader, now tell me whether anyone else is good and deserving of being a leader. The creature bends in front of the magician who has just saved Baker's life. And the magician has become the leader of the magical world. And as a result of this, Grindelwald becomes ragged enough. As a result of his attack on the hunter, he becomes frail and hurt. Dumbledore and his brother attack with the spell after he is hurt. As a result, the magical spells crash with one another, resulting in a blast. As a result, their locket breaks. On which Grindelwald and Dumbledore have taken a blood oath. Today, the oath they'd pledge with their blood has been broken today. Later, Grindelwald and Dumbledore are opposed to one other. They've never been before, and they're going to fight hard. This argument will come to an end at some point, and Dumbledore will begin to leave. Grindelwald stops him and asks, will you love me as much as before? Dumbledore replies, no, not at all, and then walks away. Later, Grindelwald begins to depart as well. Dumbledore's brother accepts the hunter as his son, and he was quite injured. Dumbledore's brother begs forgiveness and takes him to his home. The baker and his friend are seen in the next scene getting married. And they were leading a happy life on the other side a girl comes to meet Newt. She was their companion and by showing them the film ends.